Welcome everyone. In this part of the video, I am going to discuss electrophilic substitution reactions of haloarenes. So, uh, for discussing the electrophilic substitution reaction, as we know that electrophiles are the substances which are electron loving substances. Electrophilic means electron loving substances. So, the substances which attract or which attack towards the electron they are known as electrophiles so here we will discuss some electrophilic reactions uh, of haloarenes so first of all as we know that halogen of haloarene halogen atom is ortho and para directing it means whenever there is a ring in haloarenes whenever there is a ring it means uh, in uh, in haloarenes there must be a halogen group so that halogen group is ortho and para directing in nature and this can be understood by the resonance structure of haloarenes so let's discuss the resonating structures of chloroalkane uh, chlo chlorobenzenes uh, as it is chlorobenzene and when we will do when we will form the resonating structure of this chlorobenzene we will find that uh, this chlorobenzene will be ortho and para directing only now let's start uh, this is chlorine atom which is attached to the ring and this chlorine atom has six lone electrons on it three lone pair of electrons so these electron will move in that direction and the electron on the ring will come out from the uh, ring in the form of negative charge here and after the movement of electron of chlorine atom there must be a double bond and a positive charge in chlorine atom and there is a negative charge which is due to the electron of ring it is negative charge here now again the delocalization of these pi electron will take place and a new resonating structure will be formed from here similarly then again the movement of electron will be there this negative electron again move and the bond will come out from the ring and we will get this type of structure so it means from here we can observe that suppose this is structure first this is a structure second this is third and this one is fourth structure so with with the help of second third and fourth structure we can easily say that the in second structure the negative charge is present at ortho position to this halogen atom this one with respect to the second position that is known as ortho position so it is ortho position and the one and the fourth position with respect to the first position that is known as para position so first second and third structure are at uh, as it can be shown the negative charges outside the ring it means whenever there will be any substance which will attract toward the negative charge that that substance only be attack on on ortho side or para side and this can be proved with these two structures or these two resonating structure structure second as well as structure third so agar koi bhi aisa substance jo electrons ki side ko attract hota ho means electrophilic सब्सटेंस अगर है तो वो इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटेंस इन पोजीशंस पे अटैक करेगा मींस ऑर्थो पोजीशन पे जहाँ पे हमें नेगेटिव चार्ज दिख रहा है चाहे तो हम स्ट्रक्चर नंबर सेकंड देखें चाहे स्ट्रक्चर नंबर फोर देखें दोनों स्ट्रक्चर सही में एंड अगर वो बिकॉज हेलोजन आइटम ऑर्थो इन पैरा डायरेक्टिंग है क्यों वो ऑर्थो इन पैरा डायरेक्टिंग है ड्यू टू इट्स रेजोनेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर क्योंकि जो नेगेटिव चार्ज रिंग के थ्रू बाहर आया है डेट नेगेटिव चार्ज इज ओनली ऑन ऑर्थो एन पैरा पोजिशन हेयर now in electrophilic uh, substitution reaction we will discuss some reactions here the first reaction is halogenation reaction second nitration reaction sulfonation reaction and friedel craft alkylation and acylation reaction we will discuss these four reactions of electrophilic substitutions on haloarenes so firstly discuss we will discuss halogenation reaction it means whenever we have a haloarene suppose here it is chlorobenzene so halogenation means addition of halogen on this chlorobenzene in the presence of anhydrous fecl3 so uh, chlorobenzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of anhydrous 
FeCl3 it will provide because as we have already discussed here electrophilic substitution reactions are ortho and para directing reactions so this chlorine must be attacked either on ortho or on para position so the product formed will be one is uh, two products will be formed from here one at ortho position and the another one at para position so at ortho position the IUPAC name of this compound will be 1 2 dichlorobenzene suppose this is carbon atom 1 this is carbon atom 2 so it is 1 2 dichlorobenzene and for para compound suppose it is 1 2 3 and fourth carbon so it is 1 comma 4 dichlorobenzene and removal of water will takes place from the reaction next reaction is nitration Ni uh, for nitration the reagent which we have to use is concentrated hno3 in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid h2so4 so whenever a hello arene here it is chlorobenzene again uh, chlorobenzene on reaction with concentrated hno3 in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid and as soon as we heat up the compound then the new products are formed and the products will be one at uh, the products attacks on ortho as well as para positions so ortho with respect to this chlorine the nitro group will attach to ortho position as well as nitro group can attach at para position so the name of the compound is one chloro 2 nitrobenzene it is 1 chloro 2 nitrobenzene and the name of this compound will be 1 chloro 4 nitrobenzene and the removal of one water molecule from here now come to the next type of electrophilic substitution reaction that is sulfonation and sulfonation reaction takes place in the presence of sulfuric acid simply sulfuric acid when sulfuric acid reacts with chlorobenzene or helluvarine and as soon as we heat up the compound the new compound formed two compounds may be formed one at ortho and para compounds can be formed so the first compound that formed is two chlorobenzene sulfonic acid and this another one is four chlorobenzene sulfonic acid and the removal of water from here and for sulfonation the electrophilic group is SO3H for nitration the electrophilic group is NO2 group now come to the next type of fourth reaction as we have discussed earlier the fourth one was friedel craft reaction friedel craft reaction can be of two type one is alkylation another one is acylation so firstly uh, come to alkylation friedel craft alkylation reaction whenever there is friedel craft alkylation reaction then helluvarine will react with chloro or hello alkene it will react with hello alkene here it is chloro chlorobenzene it reacts with chloromethane in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3 the condition for friedel craft alkylation is the reaction must take place in the presence of AlCl3 and again the product form will be one is ortho and the another one is para product will be formed from here and the products are one chloro 2 methyl benzene if it is like this so it is 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene or it is also known as ortho because it is it, it, it is whole as a toluene so it is ortho chloro toluene and the IUPAC name of this compound will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 so it is 1 chloro 4 methyl benzene or para chloro toluene and the removal of SCL from here takes place next is friedel craft acylation in friedel craft acylation helluvarine reacts with acyl chlorides ch3cocl here it is ch3cocl acyl chloride and uh, chlorobenzene reacts in the presence of acyl chlorides in acylation acylation means the reaction must take place in the presence of acyl chloride and in alkylation reaction in alkylation, Friedel Craft alkylation, the reaction is taking place in alkyl halide, in the presence of alkyl halides. Whenever the reaction is taking place in the presence of alkyl halide and anhydrous AlCl3, then it is Friedel Craft alkylation. And whenever the reaction is taking place in the presence of acyl halide or acyl chloride, you can say in the presence of AlCl3 and hydrous AlCl3, then it must be Friedel Craft acylation reaction. So, what will happen here? The electrophile for 
एसाइल क्लोराइड विल बी सी ओ सी एस थ्री सो दिस सी ओ सी एस थ्री मस्ट अटैक ऑन ऑर्थो एज वेल एज पैरा पोजिशन सो द नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज टू क्लोरो दिस हेयर दिस दिस एसिटाइल क्लोर दिस कंपाउंड विल बी द मेन मेन फंक्शनल ग्रुप सो द नेम ऑफ द कंपाउंड विल बी टू क्लोरो एसिटोफिनोन एंड इट इज फोर क्लोरो एसिटोफिनोन एंड द रिमूवल ऑफ एस सी एल फ्रॉम हेयर सो दीज आर इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शंस ऑफ हेलोवरीन नाउ लेट्स चेक द नेक्स्ट केस एंड द नेक्स्ट केस इज हेलो अरीन्स आर केमिकली लेस रिएक्टिव देन हेलो एल्केन्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ हेलो एल्केन्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो बट वेन एवर द रिएक्टिव वेन एवर देर इज द कंपेरिजन ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी बिटवीन हेलो एल्केन्स एंड हेलो अरीन्स देन हेलो अरीन्स are chemically less reactive than hello alkenes and some points are there on which this a uh, difference or this comparison is depend upon the first fact is resonance effect as we know that hello arenes there is a resonance in a molecule whatever the molecule of hello arene there must be a resonance effect so how a resonance effect can work on the chemical reactivity of helluorene let let's check suppose let's let us take an example of chlorobenzene again i am taking an example of chlorobenzene again so due to resonance effect what will happen the electrons present on chlorine will move in the ring and the electron of the ring will move outward and a resonating structures will be formed in a manner like this negative charge will come here and a uh, double bond will be there and a positive charge on chlorine atom similarly the delocalization of electron or this pi electron will take place in the ring and this electron will come out in that in this manner and on delocalization of electron we can get this type of structure like this and after that a uh, final or a hybrid structure will be like that that bond will shift in the direction and electron will move and finally these both are hybrid structures of each other so these are the resonating structure and on the basis of resonating structure we can say that the uh, reactivity of or the contribution of uh, according to these resonating structure the reactivity of any of the substance can only be takes place either on ortho or on the para position of that ring and also due to this uh, resonating structure or these contributing structure we can say that the hello arenes are less reactive than hello alkenes because the bond a uh, formed between hello 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 group and the carbon atom in hello arene it is a stronger or it is a bond which cannot be easily be removed or which cannot easily be breaked as the bond of uh, carbon and halogen can be breaked in hello alkene so it is difficult to break the bond between halogen and the carbon atom of hello arenes that's why uh, as soon as the bond cannot be break so the reactivity of the compound will be decreases so that's why hello arenes are chemically less reactive as compared to hello alkenes now let's check the next point why why hello arenes are chemically less reactive the next point is the difference of in hybridization of the carbon atom in cx bond type uh, the next condition is according to the uh, hybridization of carbon atom which is attached with a hello compound in helloarene and helloalkenes agar hum unka हाइब्रिडाइजेशन का डिफरेंस देखते हैं हाइब्रिडाइजेशन की स्टेट्स का डिफरेंस देखते हैं सो सपोज एज आई एम ड्राइंग द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर हेलो अरीन दिस दिस मस्ट बी अ हेलो अरीन एंड हेलो एल्केन इज दिस सो इन हेलो एल्केन सपोज इट इज आर एक्स और फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी आई कैन ड्रॉ इट लाइक आर सपोज हेयर कार्बन आइटम सी एच टू एंड इट इज एक्स इट इज अ हेलो एल्केन कंपाउंड देन वट वी कैन assume from here this carbon atom this halogen atom which is attached to this carbon atom here this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized in hello alkene and here the carbon atom in hello arene the carbon atom from which the x is attached that is sp2 hybridized carbon atom 
सो वी नो डेट इन एस पी थ्री हाइबिडाइज कार्बन एटम द परसेंटेज एस करेक्टर द परसेंटेज एस करेक्टर इन एस पी थ्री हाइबिडाइज कार्बन एटम इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड फॉर एस पी टू हाइबिडाइज कार्बन एटम द परसेंटेज ऑफ एस करेक्टर फॉर एस पी टू हाइबिडाइज कार्बन एटम परसेंटेज ऑफ एस करेक्टर इज अराउंड थर्टी थ्री परसेंट and as soon as the percentage of s character is increases in in haloarene the because the carbon and halogen it is sp2 hybridized carbon atom here it must have a double bond and in halo alkene halo alkene the uh, ca carbon and halogen it is sp3 hybridized carbon atom so whenever there is a increase in the percentage s character of any of the compound the electronegativity of that compound is also higher and as the electronegativity of that compound is higher it means the bond between carbon and x it cannot be break easily because of the higher ne electronegativity because of higher percentage s character of sp2 hybridized carbon atom and due to this due to this this haloarene will be chemically less reactive it cannot be react very fast with the another substance but what happens with halo alkene if halo alkene is there then carbon and hydrogen uh, carbon and halogen are attached through sp3 hybridization which has 25% s character only so what will happen the electronegativity will be less as compared to sp2 hybridized carbon atom and as the electronegativity is less so the bond between carbon and x can easily be break and at it can easily be break out so the reactivity of halo alkene will be higher so that's these are the points from which we can say the reactivity of halo arenes are less than as compared to the reactivity of halo alkenes now let's check some reactions of halo alkene and halo arene with metal uh, so first reaction when whenever we are talking about the reaction of halo alkene with sodium metal suppose we have a halo alkene rx and two mole of sodium two sodium moles of sodium metal are combining with it so we need two mole of halo alkene in that reaction and whenever halo alkene two moles of halo alkene reacts with two mole of sodium in the presence of dry ether then always formation of alkene takes place plus removal of twice of nax and that reaction is termed as or named as Wood's reaction. This is a name reaction also. So let's take an example here. Suppose we have CH three Br, and in the presence of two mole of sodium, it is combining with C CH three Br two mole of CH halo alkene or bromo methane here. So what will happen in the presence of dry dry ether? This twice of NaBr will get removed, and formation of alkene will takes place. It means formation of CH three CH three will get combined with each other, and removal of twice of NaBr will be there. So alkene form it means methane ethane has been formed. Initially it was bromo methane. Only one carbon atom is there in halo alkene. Only one carbon atom is there. But whenever the reaction takes place, as soon as the reaction took place, then the then ethane has two car then uh, alkene has two carbon atom right now. So uh, in Wood's reaction, जो halo alkene है halo alkene में तो carbon atom का number less है. लेकिन जब वो alkene form कर रहा है तो एक उसमें carbon atom का number increase हो जा रहा है means double हो जा रहा है. अगर initially वो one था तो अब वो हमें two मिल रहा है double हो रहा है. Sim similarly if we take the example of ethane ethyl bromide if i am taking the example of ethyl bromide here or agar ye ethyl bromide two of uh, sodium metal ke sath combine ho raha hai to do hame ethyl bromide ke molecule ki requirement hai in the presence of dry ether again so removal of twice of navr will will takes place aur agar ye remove hoga to alkene ka formation hoga aur abhi maine bataya agar hamara हेलो एल्केन में एक कार्बन एटम है तो एल्केन में कार्बन एटम डबल हो जाते हैं सो सिमिलरली यहाँ पे हेलो एल्केन में दो कार्बन एटम है तो एल्केन जब फॉर्म होगा तो कार्बन एटम डबल होंगे इट मींस टू का डबल जो कार्बन एटम हो जाएगा वो फोर होगा एंड जो नया एल्केन हमें यहाँ से फॉर्म होगा द न्यू एल्केन फॉर्म डिज ब्यूटेन फ्रॉम हेयर इनिशियली इट वॉज ब्रोमो इथेन एंड जो हमें नया 
एल्केन मिला इट इज ब्यूटेन एंड रिमूवल ऑफ ट्वाइस ऑफ एन सो दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज वुड्स रिएक्शन फॉर हेलो एल्केन और ये जो रिएक्शन है दिस रिएक्शन इज ओनली सुटेबल वेन एवर अवर हेलो एल्केन इज सिमेट्रिकल इन नेचर जब हेलो एल्केन सिमेट्रिकल है दोनों जगह सिमेट्री है हेलो एल्केन के एल्काइल ग्रुप्स की सिमेट्री है तब हम वुड्स रिएक्शन अप्लाई कर सकते हैं नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलो अरीन विद सोडियम अभी हमने रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलो एल्केन देखी थी सोडियम के साथ तो अब हम देखेंगे रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलो अरीन विद सोडियम मेटल सो फर्स्टली द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन इज सपोज दिस इज अवर हेलो अरीन क्लोरोबेंजीन इट रिएक्ट्स विथ ट्वाइस ऑफ सोडियम प्लस क्लोरो मिथेन ये एराइल हेलाइट ये एल्काइल हेलाइट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ड्राई इथर देन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टॉलिन इज टेकिंग प्लेस प्लस रिमूवल ऑफ एन ई सी एल अगेन एंड दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज वुड्स फिटिक रिएक्शन ये रिएक्शन सिमिलर है जैसे अभी हमने प्रीवियस रिएक्शन देखी हेलो एल्केन की रिएक्शन सोडियम के साथ तो वुड्स रिएक्शन उसका नेम था तो यहाँ पे ये इस रिएक्शन का नेम है वुड्स फिटिंग फिटिक रिएक्शन जब हम बात कर रहे हैं हेलो अरीन की रिएक्शन सोडियम मेटल के साथ इट मीन्स ये जो हम एक कंपाउंड लेंगे दैट कंपाउंड इज एराइल हेलाइट और इट इज हेयर इट इज क्लोरोबेंजीन एराइल हेलाइट वेन रिएक्ट्स विथ एल्काइल हेलाइट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सोडियम सोडियम मेटल एंड ड्राई इथर इट द न्यू कंपाउंड फॉर्म डिस बेंजीन रिंग प्लस द एल्काइल ग्रुप एंड रिमूवल ऑफ एन ई सी एल सो इट मीन्स वुड्स रिएक्शन इज ओनली फॉर एल्काइल हेलाइट कंपाउंड सो हेयर एज इट इज वुड्स फिटिक रिएक्शन सो वुड्स मीन्स एल्काइल हेलाइट ग्रुप मज भी देयर एंड फिटिक रिएक्शन इज फॉर एराइल हेलाइट सो वुड्स फिटिक जो दोनों का कॉम्बिनेशन है वहाँ एल्काइल हेलाइट भी होगा एराइल हेलाइट भी होगा इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सोडियम तो हमें ये कंपाउंड फॉर्म होगा सिमिलरली इफ ओनली फिटिक रिएक्शन इज देयर अगर केवल और केवल फिटिक रिएक्शन की हम बात करते हैं तो हमें दोनों ही हमें एर, एराइल हेलाइट हमें कंपाउंड्स ले रहे होंगे हेयर इट इज क्लोरोबेंजीन रिएक्ट्स विद ट्वाइस ऑफ सोडियम एंड वन मोल ऑफ क्लोरोबेंजीन अगेन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ड्राई इथर सो रिमूवल ऑफ एन ई विल टेक्स प्लेस एंड टू रिंग विल कंबाइन विद ईच अदर एंड बाई फिनाइल इज फॉर्मिंग फ्रॉम हेयर दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज फिटिक रिएक्शन सो फिटिक रिएक्शन बेसिकली अराइल हेलाइट के लिए है वुड्स रिएक्शन बेसिकली एल्काइल हेलाइट के लिए जब सोडियम के साथ रिएक्शन होती है लेकिन जहाँ पे दोनों का कॉम्बिनेशन हो गया वुड्स एंड फिटिक का तो वहाँ एराइल हेलाइट भी है एल्काइल हेलाइट भी है सो दीज आर द रिएक्शंस ऑफ हेलो एल्केन एंड हेलो अरीन विद सोडियम मेटल तीनों ही नेम रिएक्शंस हैं जो हमने डिस्कस करा नाउ आई हैव सम प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सो डू दीज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन and here are there are some conversions also you have to convert some molecule to the other molecule which is given here so do these questions thank you keep watching